Hey, what's up? What's going on, YouTube? So I want to talk about this um, video that's going around with um, a work, an employee who was shot in the head um, about over cold fries in Brooklyn. That's what it was, all right? Now, the story is that a 23-year-old victim, um, he was on Fulton and, 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 Best, <laughs> and Besta around 7 p.m. Monday. And he started getting um, hassled by a female customer, and she was she was like in the store, and her son was probably in the car, or something like that. And her son came in the store um, and started arguing with the, with the, um, the 23 year old. And next thing you know, homeboy uh, pulled a gun and shot him. Now, as a person that used to work for McDonald's, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, at the end of the day, they really don't don't give a fuck. Um, no one gives a fuck about you. You're just a number. Um, you can be replaced. Um, they'll let you know that. And then fear creeps in your heart about, oh, losing my job because I'm doing this and I'm doing that. But, you know, you get fired. Sometimes you get fired. Just move the fuck on. Look for something else, you know. Probably go to another McDonald's that's not um, connected because that's what um, owners tend to do. They tend to um, find mcdonald's where you know you can't get hired by one of these three mcdonald's so you you should know your um you should know your, your the stores you're connected to all right now this story is it, it simply could have been avoided because the fear that they instill in you at mcdonald's about um oh you better um not give out free food and you you can't be um you can't be like like giving off your food. You can't do like you know just like blatant stuff that you know is probably right. You know, and that's the thing that people don't really get. Um, giving out free stuff, it really it not thrives people to be in your store. It's just like you're just like a more you're more like hum, hum, human store or humanity store. You're more human towards um, the customers. Cause I'm gonna not gonna lie to you. There's there's times when you might see um, a chick pulling drive through, and you know she got like two or three kids in there. You know she only buy like two two little um, fries, and it's like you know put extra fry in there. You know give it to her. You know just so the kids can have some fun. And you know they'll come. And that's the thing. That's a repeat customer. You know you're it's a repeat customer. And drive through times be crazy as hell. I understand all of that. The ins and outs of McDonald's, I know the run, bro. I used to be a manager. I used to run um, a McDonald's. But I'm just going to be honest with you. This job is just a, a, a wasteful job. They keep their employees in fear of losing their job. Um, and I'm that's the way I felt. I felt like, you know, like... I'm doing most of the work and I'm 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 holding my end, right? But I still couldn't, you know, get up there as fast as, as some other people. There was always favoritism in the store. There's always some favoritism in the store, just so you know. All right. Um like th th this could have been avoided. The woman came in the store, she said her fries was, was cold. I'm like, yo, okay, cool, what's the problem? Boom. That goes in the vase bin, you write that up as vase. It's not coming out of my pocket, and I really couldn't give a fuck. These employers really just, um, they they really just put fear in the, the managers, and then the managers try to put fears in the, um, in the crew. Because you're, you're, you're having a lot of base. That's not, that's not my problem. That's just life. I can't. But you're putting fear in your employees, and then on top of that, your employees be doing their best. And customers are very argumentative. I'm not going to lie to you. You as customers can be sometimes very argumentative. And just to know that this should happen in my hood, like in, in, in Brooklyn, it's, it's just it's some shit that could have been avoided. It's some shit that could have been avoided. But you, you ended up... Um, Shooting a guy in the neck. You shot the guy in the neck, and now, you know, he's there bleeding out. But he should be okay, you know? All I can say is this job is not worth it. If people come and they say, you know what? Um, well, 
my order was fucked up or da 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 and they give you back the food bro so, okay cool um can you just pull up front just give me the receipt go make the food again and give it out bro i'm i'm trust me it's costing these owners nothing despite a store is not doing so well they talk about change in management they might want to move people they might want to um swap what you call it swap um managers and like you know supervisors and shit like that they might want to swap them bro that's not your business let's keep doing what you do and that bro flipping that burger keeping my fries warm doing all that shit like yo keep doing your job you shouldn't have to um be out there in fear of losing your job because you maybe over fried so much um crispy chicken nuggets or whatever boom the fuck it's either gonna sell it or it ain't don't ever feel like, you know, this shit is like um, a gold mine. They instill fear in you where you don't want to lose your job, and then you protect the job like it's actually your business. It's not your business, bro. You don't get paid from this shit enough. And then on top of that, you be fighting for hours, and, oh, you you work this day and that day, and they're not. it's not showing up in the system. And then you got some managers that don't even want to give you the time which they ask you to stay back for. Come on, man. I'm, I'm Overnight, morning shift, evening shift, that's me.